So you're looking to get your fry to grow a little bit faster. Well, you're in luck, because in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I got my fry to grow a little bit faster and just get these guys into grow out tanks within no time. So I'm gonna show four tips that I wish I knew from the start. And this is gonna be a really, really useful video for you guys. So make sure you stay around to the end to listen to all the advice. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already seen some of my content, I make lots of aquarium related information videos as well as entertaining ones, so please consider subscribing. Without any further ado, let's get started on the video. Alright, so tip number one is regular water changes. Now this might seem like an obvious tip, but I can't stress this enough. Regular water changes in your aquarium is so important for making the fry grow faster. When you don't do regular water changes, there's also nasty things that occur in your aquarium. These things include a massive buildup of ammonia and nitrates, and these things are just not good for your baby fish. These things will actually diminish the amount of growth that these fish can get and the health of the fish. It's important that you do regular water changes of at least 25% once a week, at a minimum, to make sure that these guys are safe and they grow and they develop properly. If you want these guys to grow at a really fast rate, what I definitely recommend is to change the water once a day. I mean, doing this, these guys, like any fry, will grow lots faster. It's important that you keep all those nasty things out of the aquarium and this will just let the fries uh, cells just keep multiplying and let them just grow way faster. I reckon this this tip alone will get them to grow at least 25% faster. Alright, so tip number two is to do regular feeding. Now, if you're going to do regular feeding, it's important that you do regular water changes because if you overfeed a fish, that excess uh, gunk down the bottom actually turns into ammonia and nitrates and then that will actually slow the growth of the fish and will actually probably kill some of them, sadly. But it's important that you do Regular water changes for these guys, but you have to feed more than once a day. I mean, when they're fry, like, it's like with any baby animal, you've just got to make sure that these guys are well nourished and you've got to make sure that they always have food because their bodies are just constantly growing. So you've got to make sure that these guys are always eating and grazing like they should be right now. They're all eating here. And it's important, yeah, just make sure that you are always feeding these guys, I reckon like three times a day and this will definitely help them to grow much, much faster. Right, so for the third tip is to feed them live foods like they are in the wild. So live foods consist of baby brine shrimp and like micro worms. Those are two excellent foods for beginners to use just to get their fry to grow a little bit faster. Live foods have much more nutrition than uh, regular packaged foods. This is because they have just like extra proteins and stuff like all their live foods. So doing this will actually simulate what would happen in the wild and will actually get these guys to grow much, much faster because they'll have proper nutrition which means that their bodies are just able to grow at a faster rate and bigger normally. So it's important that you just do maybe like even a mixed diet of those two things will definitely help these fry to grow much, much faster. I definitely recommend doing that. Right, so the fourth tip. This is probably something you haven't heard before, but keeping fry in a larger aquarium than what they need will actually help them grow a little bit faster. If you keep a f keeping fish in a small aquarium, like a big fish in a small aquarium, what they'll actually do is stunt the growth of the fish and like, I don't know whether this is a rumor or not, but I do believe that having fry in a bigger aquarium will actually subconsciously promote their, their bodies to stimulate growth and we'll get these guys to grow lots faster. So it's important that you keep these guys in a decent sized aquarium just until they get to a size where they can sit into a grow out. And then when you get them into a grow out, that's where it's really important to get them into a big tank. You know, those, those are four tips that I definitely recommend if you're trying to get these guys to grow a little bit faster. So that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. Sorry I did a little bit of a short upload this week. Um, just wanted to get some valuable content out there for you guys. This is really, really useful information and I wish someone had told me when I first started keeping fish. I kind of had to acquire this knowledge myself. And you know, these are, it's, these are some really useful tips and I hope that you guys got something out of this video. So just a heads up, I'm going to be gone for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to the States to go visit family. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be uploading. I'm working on tons of videos for you guys. So I'm going to keep uploading every single week for the next couple of weeks while I'm gone. So don't worry about that. But if you're new to the channel and you haven't already seen some of this content, welcome. Uh, feel free to subscribe. If you like the video, please leave a like as well. It means a lot to me. And if there's something you want to see in the future, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. I reply to most of the comments that I get. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.